In the summer of 85, my girlfriend and I decided to drive from Los Angeles, California to Tijuana, Mexico. So we entered Tijuana and all at once we, you know, realized that how poor the town was. And I mean, it was my girlfriend's first time, so she was kind of awkward, but I had been there many times visiting family and such. Um, poor children uh, with dirt on their faces, they would come up and they would beg for money, you know, and my girlfriend, she had a soft heart and she would give them money. And um, The rest of the day we uh, went sightseeing and we bought some really cheap clothes. I mean, you wouldn't believe how cheap the clothes are in, in Tijuana. Uh, then we were done, both satisfied of what we had done during the day. So we decided to go back home to Los Angeles. So we headed towards the border and uh, we all lined up in customs, you know, because you have to have your bags checked and you have to have ID showing who you are. So I stood in line and I was second behind my girlfriend. Um, everyone else was checked out and finally, you know, it was my girlfriend's turn. So they looked at her ID and it was a Gallaudet ID, mind you. And they said, yep, yeah, mm, go ahead. And it was my turn. I had my Gallaudet ID and a driver's license from California. You know, I had two pieces of ID identification. The customs person looks at my IDs and looks back at me and then pauses. Then he says something to me and I can't understand because I'm deaf, so I tell him I'm deaf, can you write it for me? And the man says <clears throat> again something in English and I can't understand it. Then he says, go back to that room. And I didn't understand you. I saw another room in the back, so I was like, mm, okay. Well, my girlfriend had already gotten into the United States, so I walked back into the room and there's a woman standing there. She looks at both of my pieces of identification, looks at me, and says something to me again. And I'm saying, okay, lady, I'm deaf. Can you please write it for me? And the woman says something in English again. I say, can you please write it for me? So the woman gets a piece of paper and a pen, and she says, where's your proof of identification? And I said, uh, it's my Los Angeles, you know, California driver's license. And she says, why are you here? I said, well, you know, I came to sightsee with my girlfriend. She says, sorry, you can't go into the United States. I was so scared. I was just devastated. I tried to beg her to let me in, but she would not let me in. You know, she would not budge. She was such a stubborn woman. Her heart was cold. I debated with her again and again. You know, all of a sudden I thought, oh, my girlfriend, she's in America. What, what is she going to do? Uh, she has my stick shift car and she doesn't know how to drive it. How am I going to, you know, if I stay in Mexico, where am I going to get money? Where am I going to sleep? How am I going to contact my family? I mean, it's such a poor area. So the woman says, you know, go on. Mm -hmm. You can't go into America. But would I give up? Pff, heck no. I came back and I said, here is my proof, okay? I have a Los Angeles, California driver's license. I have a student ID from Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C. This is me. You know, I argued with her and argued with her, and finally, the woman looks at me, and she says, Okay, go ahead. Oh, my heart was beating a mile a minute. I was just so nervous. Oh, I gave my girlfriend a hug. I will never forget that experience. I went home, and I talked to my parents, and we found a new law. So, from then on, whenever I went to Mexico, I would bring my um, birth certificate. So last Christmas, I went with my friend, we both jumped in the car and went down to Tijuana again. We sightseed all day, and I was thinking positive, I was thinking, oh yeah, no problem, this is going to be easy, I'm going to get in, but you know, let's see what happens. So all day, you know, we were sightseeing and all that, and then we went back to customs, and the girl who was checking my ID was white. She checked both all three of my forms of ID. They look at me, and there was some hesitation. I was thinking, what? Looks at me again, and lets me through. Oh my gosh. I, I was so nervous for a second. You know, I'm a strong Mexican. I'm full Mexican, but I don't know if I'm going to visit Mexico again. Really. I don't know.